Uh, I want to talk about growth game and having a mindset that really sets you apart from the rest. I feel like that is the name of the game is having grit and being able to stick it out longer than anybody else. And I'm so glad that so many of you guys liked the live yesterday. It just shows me I need to do more of them. Poquito, poquito espanol. I am half Mexican now, but poquito, poquito, okay? Uh, I only know how to say respira profundo. So teach us a wise one. All right, so I wanna talk about why you should want to grow. And it's really important to me because my, like I'm literally getting a shirt that says this. It says I'm allergic to average. And Chase used to always ask me, used to always say, um, why are you not okay with being average? Like what's so bad about being average? And I'm like, some people, like it's not a bad thing. Like not everybody can be above average, okay? Like, well, maybe they can. But for me, like, I have just grown up my whole life like not wanting to be average and like go above and beyond. And I want you guys to think about how you do anything is how you do everything. And I was thinking about this because, you know, so we made a mistake on a, an email that we sent out yesterday. Hi, Lindsay. And it was a little tiny error. And it said, instead of saying two, it said go. So it was it was just like a little thing. So it wasn't actually like a spelling thing, it was just a missed look. And we had three people check it and it still got messed up. And for me, I'm like, that is not okay. I wrote the copy and then I had three people check it, okay? And for me, I'm like, that's not okay that three people missed that mistake, right? And I was like, that is a huge mess up that is going to mess up like my whole like thing that I have going on with this email. And everybody else was like, well, it's really not that big of a deal. And I was like, no, but it really is that big of a deal because how you do anything is how you do everything, right? And I just want you guys to know that minor, even though it might be something minor like that, it could be major. So let's say for instance, you are, you know, building your personal brand and you're like, oh, it's not that big of a deal that I didn't show up yesterday. You know, that I, I was just like MIA on social media. And it's not that big of a deal that I didn't do what I said I was going to do in my planner. You know, this is a book, not a planner, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's those little things that are so minor that you're like, if I miss one sales call, if I don't show up for that, it's okay. Like nobody really cares. If that's your mindset, I'm telling you that you're thinking about the short term game and you're going to lose. Okay. In the long term because everything does matter. Minor equals major. Write that down. Minor equals major. How you do anything is how you do everything. So if you show up to a meeting and you're just like 30 minutes late and you're just kind of like all over the place and blah, 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 um, then you're going to make everybody else feel like that and have that like negative kind of energy, that rushed energy that is not acceptable. And you may think, oh, it's okay if I do that every once in a while. But if you have that mindset that that's okay, like you honestly need to look in the mirror and like really evaluate where you want to go in your life because it's not okay. Like don't have that mindset. Okay. Saying that word okay is like freaking, again, I'm allergic to that word. Like, no, I don't want to be okay. It's either it sucked and let's just say it sucked. Like that email we sent out yesterday just sucked, right? Just sucked. And I'm just okay with saying that because there's nothing we could do now. Now I'm going to look forward and say, how do we make sure that that never happens again? Because how we do anything is how we do everything. So we're going to learn from this moment and we're going to show up better next time. So we're going to write the best email next time. And I'm going to triple check it myself. Okay. Instead of just expecting other people to like, you know, catch those things. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this kind of stuff, you guys, is because we're in an okay society. Where you ask somebody, how are you doing? They say, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's like, okay, do you want to be just okay? I want to be freaking amazing. I want to be fantastic. I want to feel good, right? And that's how we should be acting. But then when people say that they're okay, we're just like, oh, okay. Like, and we don't actually ask them like, well, what the heck is wrong with you? Like, why are you just okay? You know, we're like, we just accept that people are okay and that people are living okay lives and that people are doing mediocre things and taking mediocre action and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not saying you have to have a huge business. Like 
You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you're just an okay mom, like look in the mirror and get better. Because if, you know, there's always a way to improve whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's your growth game as a wife, your growth game, girl. <laughs> you guys, like clearly I've been talking a lot. Your growth game as a friend, as a podcaster, as a blogger, whatever it is, how can I get better? How can I improve? It's not just going, oh, it's okay. I'm just doing the thing. I'm just going throughout the day and I'm just like doing what I've always done. But look at your process and say, how can I make this better? How can I become a better writer? How can I go to a course? Can I, you know, hang out with somebody that can influence me in a, a, you know, a positive way so I can learn better craft at what I'm doing, right? And uh, I just want you guys all to just be aware of that word, okay. And even you saying that word, okay. And instead of like, really, if somebody asks you, how are you? Like really respond and say, I'm having, like, remember, you're responsible for the energy that you bring into a room. So if you want to come in and complain, it's like you're setting the whole tone for everybody else in the whole room to complain, you know? So don't complain. I don't care if you're freezing and whatever, like why? Like talk about what you're excited about. Talk about what feels good in that moment that would make you happy, that would make you smile. And so I always like using words that are just like ridiculously big. So if somebody asks me how I'm doing, I'm like spectacular, because that's just a fun word to say. I mean, you guys stop whatever you're doing right now, even if you're like somewhere where people are like, you're gonna sound crazy, and say the word spectacular. Like seriously, say that word spectacular. I am spectacular. There's no way you can say that and not smile, right? I'm laughing right now. It's so fun. So stay away, like have, like, you know, that's a disease. It's the okay, it's the average disease where just everything's just freaking mediocre. So change your words, change your life. And guess what happens when you respond and you tell somebody, I'm spectacular. They look back and go, yeah, I'm having a pretty good day too. And you can say, well, what makes your day so good? You know, that's how you start connecting with people. Look, she says, outstanding, I'm outstanding. That's a happy word. Well, I can't like be mad and say that word, right? And it's all about like the story that you're telling yourself all day long. So if you tell yourself that you want to be above average, that you want to be fantastic, that you want to be outstanding, what's your guys' favorite word that you want to say? You know, you're just like so happy. Okay. If that might be just like really plain, you might be vanilla with the so happy, but that's okay. We can take vanilla. Okay. But you know, find out like, you know, get that excitement going and say, how do I want to feel? And then say that out loud and tell yourself that story all day long. That's what your growth game is, right? That's being in the field, playing in the growth game because most people, guess what? It's so simple to do, so simple not to do. It's so easy to say, okay, and just go through the motions and just do what you've always done. But the reason why all of you guys are still watching this live right now is because there's something inside of you that is screaming for more. That is like, I, I don't wanna just be okay, I wanna give more. Okay, so how can you be better? Maybe you're cooking dinner tonight, okay? Maybe you're just, you're an amazing mom and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking cook a gourmet dinner tonight because I've been cooking these plain chicken and rice and broccoli dinners forever. And I just wanna you know, up my game. I wanna learn a new craft. Or maybe you're like, you know what? I've been squatting 100 pounds for the last five years and I wanna get it up to 120. So I'm gonna hire a trainer to get me some help. Whatever that is, you guys, like hire help if you need to, like get that growth. Like for me, I just hired, I went into a personal training facility. I think I was talking to you guys about it yesterday, but it's so cool because it's so comprehensive. They do your labs, you can get IVs, um, you can get training, they have chiropractic, and I just got manually adjusted for the first time today. And I feel, maybe that's why I have so much energy. I don't know, I always have a lot of energy. But I'm just like fired up for life, okay? And I love that like all of these, so they have somebody for each part of you, for the nutrition and for the physical and for your, also they talk about stress and the emotional well-being. And it's a naturopath doctor that runs it. And I'm just like, I love that I'm having somebody keep me accountable because it's really easy for me because I fit in all my clothes and you know, like I'm not gaining weight, my weight is fine, but it'd be easy for me to just go and do the same thing that I've always done. But I don't wanna become stagnant in my health. I wanna constantly like, I wanna figure out how I can live until I'm in my 100s and like know my great grandchildren and be running around with them. Like I wanna take care of this body. And so I need to be thinking about those things now what is something I can do to get better right there, right? And uh, I mean, so 
you guys, that's my little spiel for today. I just want all of you guys to be fantastic, spectacular, and go big in whatever you do. If you were a certain person yesterday, guess what? You have permission today to reinvent yourself and become even better than you were yesterday, even if you were spectacular yesterday. Okay, somebody's gonna become vegan. I am right there with you. I will be vegan with you every single Monday. That's my new thing. Every single Monday, I'm gonna be a vegan. And then maybe I'll start Monday and Tuesday, but I'm starting small, doing one thing at a time. One thing at a time. So uh, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Guess what I'm doing tonight? P.S. Okay, P.S. So it, actually, I want you guys to help me here. I'm driving six hours tonight to drive to Phoenix because I couldn't get a flight booked. This is why I'm even more motivated now to make like more money because I'm like, I need to get a jet because I'm, I have to drive because there was no flights available. Anyway, because I'm gonna be on a show tomorrow in Phoenix and in Thursday and Friday. So um, I'm really excited to do that just to get my book out there to everybody. So if you guys are in the Phoenix area, make sure to tune in tomorrow and watch me. I'll be posting all about it. And if not, you guys can watch it online too. So uh, if you guys have any good uh, audiobooks, because I feel like I've listened to all of them, I need six hours worth of listening to something. So send me your recommendations if you have any. And I'm getting ready to record another podcast before I leave about all of my favorite books for 2019. So yay. Woohoo! Oh yay, I'll see you in Phoenix. Okay, bye guys.